you guys on today's video when I'm setting this up. Now, I've done a video where we did the setup already, but this is just an updated one, although it's gonna be the exact same thing. Something you will notice that came with this is this. This is just to set this up on your wall. You can do that. So you would drill this into your wall and then you can just put this like so. It's just gonna go in. So that's what this is for. You do not need to set it up on your wall if you don't want to. This can just be placed on top of your table in whichever room you want. So in our case, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And do not pull out this tab until we're ready for the setup. So this will activate your battery. So don't do that just yet. That QR code is important. Let's say you activated this and you threw it away. doesn't matter. There's a QR code on the back of this. So if you open this up, you can just take a knife, for example, <laughs> if you don't have a screwdriver, and you can open this up. Um, on the back of this, you will see a QR code as well. And you can scan that as well. So if you lost this for any reason, does not matter. Now let's say you guys have a used one. Maybe you bought it from somewhere. Well, same deal. Just uh, make sure to take out the battery for five minutes, then put it back in. That's gonna reset things. And then you can set it up yourselves. But basically the whole setup takes place on your app, on your phone. What we're gonna do right now is activate this. To activate it, you just have to take this out. It's gonna activate the battery. This is actually working right now. There's no buttons, nothing around it. It's working right now, as soon as you take this out. So just leave it there and we're gonna place this. Make sure it's near your phone and your thermostat. So just make sure you're close to those things. And then we're just gonna open up our app right now and we're gonna get started with the setup. So this can be done on your phone or tablet. Just go right into your app store. And if you don't already have the Nest app, go ahead and download it. So here's Nest. It's this one right here, by the way. Go ahead and download this one. Once you download it, just open it up. And then what you're gonna be doing is adding so on the top right hand corner, you're gonna see the gear icon. Tap on your gear icon. From here, scroll all the way down. You're gonna see add product, tap on add product. And then remember that QR code that I told you? Here's my tab with the QR code. And if you don't have this QR code anymore, don't worry about it. You can just open up the temperature sensor and on the back, you will see that the QR code is right there. All right, from here, just going to next. It's going to be connecting. So just make sure it's close enough to your thermostat. Make sure it's close to your phone as well. You're going to see that it's being added. Perfect. You can just go to next. We're going to go and it says pull out the tab. Well, we did that already. Go next again. It's going to tell you to place it wherever you like, but you know, it can't be that far away. Then next, next up. And we're going to see the connection. So right now it's telling us it's connected to a dining room thermostat. That's what my thermostat's called, dining room. Your thermostat could be anywhere. And then, if it doesn't connect for any reason, just get it closer. Move it a lot closer. Right next to it if you can. Anyways, next up, we're just going to go into next. And you can name this sensor anything you like, so where it's going to be used. So I'm just going to select bedroom from here. Just going to go into next. And we're pretty much done. Just tap on done. Right now, if I go back, we're gonna see that there's the temperature sensor, my first option, and then your thermostat's my second option. So this is how you would use your thermostat. First of all, place it in the bedroom that's supposed to be at. Leave it there for a few minutes without calibrating this just yet. I would say after maybe an hour, go ahead and tap on your temperature sensor, and then you're gonna see this. So see how right now, it's checking for the temperature in your dining room because that's my where my thermostat's at. Well, it's set up to 23. Right now, it's telling me that my bedroom's at 24.5, which again, since it's brand new, it's not really accurate because I was touching it. Later on, it's going to calibrate a little bit more and it's going to be more accurate. But anyways, the way that you would do this is that my thermostat is at that temperature. So where my thermostat is at is my dining room. So the temperature in my dining room is at 23, okay? So wherever your thermostat is, so it's not really your home temperature because it doesn't know your home temperature. You cannot know what temperature your basement is at, what temperature your attic is at, what temperature your, uh, if you have a second floor or, floor or third floor, you cannot know that. You can only know the temperature where it's set up. And my thermostat is in my dining room. So that's the temperature in my dining room. So just don't get confused about that. It's not your home temperature. It is where it is. So right now, whether you guys want this to be warm or cooler, you can set up that temperature. So just tap on bedroom. You will see this. Use the sensor for comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. So just press OK. So this means, let's say I go down to 22, 23. Let's just put at 23. So right now it's set up to 23, but I can make it go to, to let's say, 24. 
or 24.5, which is right now, or 25. Actually, I don't want 25. <laughs> That's way too much. But anyways, let's say I wanted to keep a 23 instead of the 24.5 that's right now. So right now, what my furnace is going to do, or, or if it's summer, your air conditioner is going to bring it down to 23. And it's going to do that. It's just going to focus in on what temperature your bedroom's at, and it's going to bring it down to 23. So it's not even going to look at what temperature your dining room is at. Your dining room could go down to, let's say, 20 degrees. Um, and it's going to do that because it does that for the entire house, right? So it goes on, it cools everything down until that particular bedroom is at 23. Or again, if it's winter, it's going to bring up the temperature to get it to that 23. And whatever temperature that other areas of the house are, then it cannot know that and it doesn't really care. It will just focus on that. So that's how you use this. It's to focus in on a certain bedroom and you can set it up for whatever time. So maybe at, you only care at nighttime, which is usually for most of you, that's what you're going to do. So you can set up a schedule for it. Uh, for most of you, you do have that learning thermostat. So if you have it at learning, it's just going to learn at what time you guys change it to your bedroom and then, and then whatever temperature you set up your thermostat at. So if you set up your temperature sensor to be at 23 or even 22.5 or 22 for that particular time, it's going to learn that. And then slowly it's going to change by itself, maybe at night time or morning time, whenever you like. And if you want to make sure that that's actually happening, you can go into your gear icon on the top right hand corner tap on it and then from here you're going to see auto schedule right now it's off for me because it's already set up but if you wanted to learn what you're doing just turn it back on and then it's going to learn what temperatures you like at what time and it's going to switch by itself so it should switch to bedroom whenever i do that switch manually so you manually do it at first then it's going to keep learning and then you will not need to do that or you can just go into manually set it up under your schedule and that's it. So you could do that as well. But the easiest way is to do an auto schedule. Just want to note that my first option for home away assist is off. Um, that's in our case because there's always somebody home. But when we go on trips, I usually turn that on. So it knows that we're not home and it will turn down the temperature so we can save on some gas. And same goes for cooling during the summer. We just let it go up a little bit more than what we are usually comfortable with. So we're saving up a little bit of electricity there. So that's how you guys can use this. And really it's only gonna make sense once you start using it because even maybe me trying to explain it won't make sense until you actually use it and set it up yourselves. But anyways, that would be it for this setup video. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like, thank you.